Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Tanks Blitz, and I'm going to be here in the T-3485 Victory, which um, isn't a tank that you've seen in a while on my channel, I will say. I do still drive it on the occasion, same as things like the Schmalter, but in this case I was driving it because I needed to win 10 battles in a medium tank to complete one of the daily missions, and so I was just going through any medium tank I glanced upon and went, huh, I could do alright in that. And, well, I jumped into the T-3485 victory. And I do like the victory. I especially like the camouflage of it. Because the camouflage just looks really cool. This this black and green camo with the uh, white stripe and the blitz uh, blitz emblem just, uh, yeah, it's just an all-round nice camo. Look at it. Um, but anyway, we're on Port Bay, it's a tier 7 game, I am literally bottom of the team, because, uh, yeah, tier 7 game, I'm one of three tier 6s, one of which is an ARL, and one of which is, what, a Max, I think it is. So, we're heading over here to the B point, no one's going to C, so I decide to go over here to the A and B point. Still spotted no one, crash into the water tower, reverse and drive on with my way. Um, but, you know, little scouting run there, didn't turn off anything. ARL's capping, I decide, you know what, I could do a lot worse than just help the cap. Looking for anyone who might appear up there? No, no one. So, a minute into the game, we haven't spotted anyone. Uh, okay, let the ARL go, because no one ever gives way to traffic. Everyone just sort of barges their way through. ARL's going beeline, I'm going to go flank. I am a tier, seven, uh, tier 6 medium, and it's a good thing I did, because... There's that ARL getting hammered by the uh, Panther. Still, we haven't spotted anyone, so me and the Dicker Max are going around the side. There's that, uh, there's that Panther. Still uh, trying to outflank. There's still, we haven't. I'm not able to get a shot on that Panther. Too slow to get that shot, and it missed. And then the T29 gets spotted, and the KV1S. I get spotted by I think the KV1S when he drove through that little gap. Uh, but still. Me and the Dickamax are still going to go out flanking. There's a KV-2. We think, aha, KV-2. No one's going to be guarding the flank. Might as well make the most of it. So, I get spotted again. I'm not sure who by, but I get spotted. No one seems to realise that I've been spotted, though, because that KV-2 is still oblivious up there. So I come over here, put one shot into his turret. 180. Very nice. 85 mil gun on the on the uh, T3485, and now don't try this at home, kids. I play peekaboom with a KV2. Do not do this. I'm using sniper mode. There you go. See when I'm over the ridge, he fires and misses, and then gets the heck out of there. So the Dickamax is coming forwards. That shot was lucky to pen. As soon as I scope in, I realised just how lucky I was to pen the front of that Cheeto. Um, but we do manage to. I drop down here. I get one more shot into him. Dickamax is getting hammered by everyone else, so he ignores this guy and just drives away. My, uh, I injure my driver, I uh, decide to go s play it safe, use APCR on the lower glacis of that guy. I take one more shot here as I heal my driver, but I'm now around the side of the Cheeto, and, well, there's nothing he can do. This is the problem with tank destroyers that have fixed guns against mediums. Uh, and I put one more round into him, and then we come around the side, he drives forwards, trying to get away. Not today. Finish him off. We are losing 3-4. And shortly, it's going to be 3-5 as we lose the Tiger P. But I do get one shot into the KV-1S. KV-1S turns his turret. KV-1S is still looking at me. This is dangerous. Don't try this at home either, kids. I play peekaboom with the KV-1S. But I do finish him off. The uh, Tiger P is doing his level best to save himself. I uh, do manage to kill off that KV-2, though. So there's one tank out of the game. And all of a sudden, we are winning 5-4. But there's an SU-152, and I'm not going to try my luck a third time. I'm not going to try peek-a-boom a full health SU. So instead the AMX M445 blows off his track, goes out flanking, and, well, he starts pushing him around. So I make the most of the confusion and start putting shots into that SU. One shot into his lower glacis there, and, well, he's being turned around all the time by the AMX, so I just drive out here, boom, straight into his side. And all of a sudden... We went from losing 3-4 to winning 6-5. The uh, Tiger P finally succumbed to the uh, T-29. And now it's a bit of a dangerous game, because there's that T-29 and he's on about a thousand health. The ARL is saying take C, but I don't really want to drive all the way up there, have our AMX die, and then not win on points. And I realise that we are winning currently, 
and we will keep winning so long as neither of us die and that guy doesn't take any more caps and well he can't really they're all saying to go cap C cap C but no when there's two people left alive you need to stay together I let the AMX go first because he's a heavy tank he has the armor and then I think about going to cap C but then no no I've got to stay with the AMX I let the AMX you know brave the fire from the T29 T29 misses and uh, I basically come in here and try and offer support but the T29 really doesn't want to get shot by two people so as I try and come around the side here he just keeps dodging look at that but the AMX puts one more shot into him T29 gets one shot into the AMX and well the AMX finishes him off and yeah we really turned that game around but uh, we did manage to win it at least um, that was an ace tanker which I was surprised about uh, we got a we got one of these things. <laughs> uh, Le Vassaholis medal. Sorry, I don't speak Finnish. <laughs> so I don't know I don't know how to pronounce his name, I'm afraid. It's, it's, um, Finnish man. But we did destroy two enemy vehicles with a medium tank. And they're at least one tier higher. So we at least got that. We also got a top gun. Uh, yeah, 2,300 damage done. We got a whole load of credits as well. Um, you know, over 3,000 XP. Top of the team. Second only, uh, second was the AMX. Of course, I voted him up, and uh, the T29 was top of their team as well. 15 shots fired, 14 hits, 14 pens, which was all very nice. Just that one missed shot on the Panther, but other than that, that's a very nice hit ratio. Um, so yeah, which is why we got a Master Gunner as well. Um, and yeah, we took the two shots, unfortunately, from that Cheetah SPG. Uh, with a pretty big scary gun actually that once I once I took a shot from him um, but yeah that was just a, a pretty decent game in the um, T3485 victory which I hadn't played for a while but hey here it is um, and yeah it's a good tank um, I haven't seen it on sale for ages though actually thinking about it but yeah good tank and uh, that was just a, an ace tanker I got on it so thank you all for watching and goodbye